High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Good morning. It's time for school with HPTC, and this is Katie Shirley, Marketing Coordinator at High Plains Technology Center. And today I have with me um, our TAP, which is Technical Applications Program Director, Dana Goss, and Kim Shaw, and she is representing the Woodward Rotters. Welcome. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Dana, would you like to go ahead and tell us about the big event that's happening this Friday and Saturday? You bet I would. Um, so on Friday, January 21st and Saturday, twenty January 22nd, out at the Woodward County Event Center, we're having a car show. And the Woodward Rotters are sponsoring that car show. And, you know, it's just amazing how this... Um, all came about and how we got started with all of this. Um, I'm going to let Kim tell a little bit about the details of the car show. We got everybody's full attention, and then we'll talk about some of the things that proceeded up to this and our partnership with the Rodders and how much that the Technology Center appreciates the Woodward Rodders and all their friends. Okay, Friday, we start at 8 o'clock. Students will be showing up. We'll have cars out there. They'll judge. Students made trophies for these classes, and we've got several classes going on. I think Dana's going to touch on that. Um, we have people coming from east of Dallas, Lawton, Amarillo, Wichita, and we're even being featured on Tulsa Today News Channel 8 this year. So hopefully we'll have some people coming from that direction We'll have all kinds of events going on. We've got the school kids. We're we there. They've got some projects they're working on that we're going to judge. And I think they're having a good time. They had a great time last year. And um, I think their their day ends at 2.30. Saturday, we'll, we will begin again at 10 o'clock. We will end at 3 and have our awards at, after that. We will have Buddy Cooper there for food until it lasts, <laughs> always. Um, and I think we're going to have another class maybe from the Votech come and uh, join us this year for the first time. But last year we had trucks, boats, motorcycles. I think we had a lawnmower. <laughs> and we had a lot of really beautiful cars all the way from the 20s to present. So if you're out there and you want to come, come on down. It's free to the public. Um, it's There's an entry fee for your car, but um, we, we just can't wait for you guys to come down. Very good. So if you are listening and you'd like to enter your car, um, Kim, how would they go about that? Well, they just come down we will come up to the desk and the girls and i will get you signed up and the guys will park your car they'll let you park your cars and away we go very good any of those people that would like to bring him in on thursday that would be great because our 8 a.m students then would have um some to look at so i know you're going to open the building up on thursday at three o'clock very good and so they'll be there um, on that time and then um, we'll be rolling. Um, there'll be lots of students there, but pe- people last year kept bringing their cars in, and it worked out perfect. The kids love love that. So, um, um, first of all, I want to give a lot of shout outs to um, people out at the events. I mean, at the technology center. Um, Katie and I have been working on this from our little thought process uh, three years ago with six cars in the gravel, and we've came a I long way. How many years now? That's yep. year three. Yep. Year three. Yep. So six cars in the gravel. Um, you know, and then the second year we had it in the gravel. And then I'll never forget, I figured out, they told me how much the paint cost. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my goodness, we've got to get out of the gravel. Yeah. And so uh, we met with the Rodders. The Rodders have been supporters of this um, project that, that we teach. Um, and, and how this all came about was at NTAP. And we used the car show as a marketing project for the freshmen. The eighth graders are doing food trucks. They're not real, obviously, but they, they construct a taco truck, and so they're building those trucks, um, and they'll have those on display. The sixth graders learn about automotive, different cars, tools, and how the engine works. And so we just tied it all together. 
Um, we reached out to a few of those six people. Those six people reached out to their friends, which was 21. And, and then the next year, last year, I think we had 86 cars there. 97. 97, sorry. Wow. Yeah. And so it, it's come a long way since mm-hmm. Six in the Gravel. And, you know, we just really couldn't do it at all if we didn't have the Woodward Rodders, um, the support of the community and all of that. So we just appreciate that so much. Um, shout out to Mr. Borden and the welding students. They made the trophies. Um, the trophies that the welding students made were best of show, special interest, and the kids' choices. So every student from High Plains Technology Center that shows up on Friday will vote, and the winner of the Kids' Choice Award will win a special trophy. Um, the best of show, along with the cool trophy that Mr. Borden did, um, they're going to get $1,000. Um, the marketing class um, actually made the flyer. So Miss McDowell and her students made the flyer that's been on our social media, um, published around in newspapers. So shout out to them. Mr. Kirksey's crew is coming um, to take pictures, fly the drone, and do the footage. Um, we supplied um, all of that to the Rodders um, for them to use for promotional video and photos at their choice and discretion of how they like to do it. The health students yeah, reached out, and, and that's new this year. The health students wanted to be a part of it, Ms. McVicker and Ms. Cottom. Um, so they're using that as part of their Barbara James Service Award, which is a is something that the students are working for. Um, they have to come up with 100 hours of community service, so they're going to have a booth out there that, that Katie's going to help us get put together, and then the girls are, and the any students in health are going to work through that. Um, there's going to be some competitions that we have. Um, the freshmen... And a few of the sitting school eighth graders are um, building model cars. And so there's going to be a model car show. Um, Old school kind of model cars. We've been super gluing. We've got a lot of super glue in lots of places. (laughs) On the car as well, but a lot on the fingers. It's been been really fun. Um, We've been um, designing um, 3D cars um, in Tinkercad. I'm using some engineering and design work there. So we'll have those on display. Like I said, the the seventh graders are going to have food trucks that they'll have made. And then every student, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, along with Miss McDowell's marketing students, are going to enter in a graphic T-shirt design contest. So the routers are going to judge it, and then we'll hang all those up. And, and so it's going to be really cool. And so last year, I think Blaze Whitson, Rosella, maybe won. And so you actually implemented that design on a T-shirt. Is that correct? Yes, we'll have T-shirts with her design on there this year. That's very cool. Right, and so the kids now will be there. to see where what comes of that design they made Mm -hmm. right so that'll be super super awesome so yeah they'll be um they've got it set up there and they'll be able to print it and she'll like to see it like printed on the shirt yes so she'll be able to see the whole process so that'll be that'll be really cool um another thing that i want to give a shout out here because it seems like this time goes really fast before we get ready (laughs) to go to school in the mornings um the rotters um and kim have really stepped up to the plate to help our students and um so I want to give them a shout out to that. So the proceeds, those of you that are listening, all proceeds from the entry fee from the car show actually go towards scholarships that they give to students at High Plains Technology Center. Wow. And so um, there'll be two automotive um, scholarships that they'll provide. And then then Kim, she um, has figured out how to provide a diesel scholarship as well. So three of our students um, for the fall of 2022 will um, benefit from the car show and so if they apply they have to apply they have to go through a little interview process with the rotters and so they will actually um go to school on a scholarship that in automobile and diesel isn't that yeah, awesome that'll be very helpful to uh, some fortunate students yes very good and so um you know that's the the thing and and you know the oklahoma magazine i think maybe has reached out to them today and and i'll just give a big shout out to our community and our area kim the rotters that um you know, like they're, she's like, we're getting a lot of traction. Well, they're getting a lot of traction because they're including kids yeah, mm-hmm. and they're making a difference and they're making difference. it about school. And, mm-hmm. and so, you know, it's always good to pay it forward. So, Kim, we just appreciate you so, so very much. We appreciate you guys. It, it's just been great. And it's been fun. It has been fun. You know, I go to those water, the Rogers meetings a couple of times a year. They meet a lot. <laughs> they meet once a week during car show season, once a month during non-car show season. And I mean, they're hoot. It's so yeah. much fun I'm to go to their meetings. Your guys' organization just seems really impressive. Yeah. And produce some great shows. Well, hopefully after this many years, we yeah, got to might it have it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you didn't stay with it and, you know, be diligent and, and just really, first of all, the love of the car and the story and, and those the kids will enjoy that so much on Friday that people will tell their story and right. have their notebooks and how it all goes down. Mm-hmm. And it's just really so super cool. So many generations coming together and pouring into the um, the future. So it is really neat to see. All right. So once again, 
because we're going to run out of time here. Once again, January 21st, 22nd at the Woodward County Event Center, which is out at Woodward, at Crystal Beach if you live here in town. The fairgrounds yeah. if you're an out-of-towner, yeah. where they have stock shows at. That's the Woodward County Event Center. Shout out to Bailey and her crew for helping us get this thing ready to rock and roll this weekend because it's going to be bigger and bigger. And um, 8 o'clock to 2.30 on Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 on Saturday, free of charge. See you there. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.